Hello everyone, it's Jay, and today I wanna to talk about how I turned this into one of these. So if you read this title of my video, yes, you can turn an older tablet or a newer, cheaper tablet into a Google Nest Hub. So if you happen to like my content or anything that I talk about, like, share, subscribe, leave a comment down below on what you think, and let's get into the video. So let's talk about the tablet of choice that I have. For me, I chose the Lenovo Tab M8 third gen 8 inch screen. Now this tablet only has 32 gigabytes of storage and three gigabytes of memory and it runs on Android 11. But the only reason why I chose this tablet is because it was on the cheaper end side. If you happen to have like an older tablet laying around and you don't want to pay for a Google Nest Hub or a smart photo frame, which are running about 50 to 60 bucks these days, then you can use that older tablet or you can opt into getting a cheaper tablet. Now this tablet tablet is very basic. It's very bare bones. It actually has an LCD screen, so it's not AMOLED or OLED. It is just a very basic tablet. But what I used it for was photo frames. And let me get into how I got this accomplished. But before we get into it, these are pretty expensive, running about a hundred bucks. This is an older gen model and I got it for 30 at Game Exchange. So if you go to GameStop or Game Exchange, Exchange or just a pawn shop in general, you could probably find these for fairly cheap price. With that being said, I did buy one brand new before this. I was going to do a review on one of them, but it had a really bad screen on it. The touchpad for the screen was constantly messed up, so I had to return it and I never did a review on the product. Now, this one, like I said, I bought for $30 and since then I have love this thing. I use it in my kitchen whenever I'm cooking and I want to display movies or I want to display like random nerdy stuff like modern vintage gamer and I want to look at videos while I'm cooking. I use this and it comes in handy pretty well. But let's move on to how I turned a tablet into a Google Nest Hub or a smart frame. So the first thing that you want to do is go to Google Photos on your Android device, or you could even do it on your computer. I have my cell phone, so I'm going to go to my library in Google Photos. Next, you're going to want to create an album. Go to new album, add a title. For me, I'm going to do a slide. From there, you're going to want to select photos and I'm going to select photos of my dog. Once you have the photos you have selected, go to add up at the top right, you will have a created album. Now, once this album is created, it goes to Google Cloud Services, basically. From one device to another, this carries on to either your tablet or your Google Nest. And that is as long as you have an internet connection because the majority of all devices need internet connection these days. So once you have the album that you want, you will go to settings in the tablet of your choice. It really doesn't matter which tablet you're running as long as you go to settings and you have Google Photos in the option. Really old tablets probably do not have this option. So you want to go from probably 2018 to now and it probably may be a little bit sooner than that, maybe 2015. So once you are in settings, you're going to go to display. Then you're going to go to screen timeout and I have mine set for 15 seconds. I will show you the other way of doing Google Slides in a little bit that you will need to choose never. So for right now, I'm going to choose never and it will never turn off this this display. Now, higher end tablets probably do not have this because of the AMOLED display or OLED display and screen burn in. So if you have an older tablet with an LCD or LED screen, this will probably work out very well and you will never be able to turn off the display. Now, keep in mind doing this will drain the battery, but it will present a smart photo frame that you want. Then you're going to go to screen savers. And once you have your screen saver, you're going to click on current screen saver and it'll give you options of clock, colors or photos. You're going to hit photos and it usually has a Google photos right there. 
and from there it will display that album you have selected now one thing that i did forget to mention is you may want to set those photos to your favorites and all you have to do is hit the star button up at the top right of the screen and it will go to your favorites so in reality you probably don't have to create a photo album but i do it just to be safe so that way there are no issues going on later now still under the screensaver tab in the settings mode you will go to when to start this will start while you're charging or docked and usually the first selection is while charging and that's okay but it will only do the google frames whenever you are charging and voila you have it all set and it turns into a google nest now most tablets don't have this setting that i'm about to talk about set up correctly so what am i talking about well, anytime you say, hey, Google, you want the device to wake up just like a Google Nest would. So in order to do this on any older tablet or current tablet or even a smartphone that is Android based, you're going to go to settings. You're going to type in the search bar up at the top. Hey, Google. And from there, you're going to go to Hey, Google and voice match. And as long as you tap access your assistant, anytime you say, Hey, Google, when your screen is on, it will pop up just like it did. And once that is set up, you will have a Google Nest right in your hands and it is portable. Now the Google Nest can display movies, YouTube, music, anything that you want. But the same could be said about a generic tablet. Now this device I've always struggled with to get my photo frames to pop up correctly. But there is one setting that I found out to make sure that it does pop up correctly. There is a bit of a lag though whenever you do this on this device, but it will display your photos correctly. Now, keep in mind, everything that I have talked about, I did mention to create an album. You do not have to do this. I do it for my keepsake just to make sure that I select the right photos. But the majority of the photos that Google wants are favorites, the ones that you have starred up at the top right. So what am I talking about whenever I've had problems with this to display my photos correctly? You're going to want to go to Google Home and you don't have to do this on an Android device. You can also do this on your PC, but I'm doing it on my Android yet again. So you're going to want to go to devices and under my devices, I have a kitchen display and then you are going to hit the settings tab and you're going to go to photo frame. Now for that being said, I have Google photo selected and at the bottom here, you're going to choose portrait Google photos. Now, if you do show in pairs, it will do pairs as in Google photos of what they have taken and your photos and your photos will not be displayed correctly, at least for me. So what I have done is hit show and it has tricked the Google Home Nest to display the photos that I have selected or have favorited. So I did mention earlier that there is another way of doing this. So what is the other way? First, you're going to want to go into settings on your tablet or smartphone, as long as it is Android based. Once you're in settings, you're going to type in pin. You're going to hit app pinning and go all the way down to app pinning again and make sure that is on. From there, you will go to Google Chrome. You're going to want to search Google Photos. And if you need to sign in, make sure you sign in. From there, you're gonna go to either your favorites or you can go to your album. And once you are there, you're gonna hit the clear apps button and you're gonna want to hold this down and it says pin, hit pin. And once you hit pin, it'll give you app instructions on how to get out of app pin. This will make it where you can't get out of Google Photos. This is also very helpful for kids whenever you have kids and you just have a generic tablet that you've had laying around for years. This app pinning is meant or designed for that specific feature. So once you do that, you'll hit got it. And now you are stuck in Google Photos on the website. From there, you're going to hit a picture and go to the three dots at the right and you can do a slideshow. And from there, it will be able to do a slideshow of all the pictures that you have favorited or even that album. And that's why I said why I had created an album. This will create the Google 
Google Nest atmosphere that you are looking for with just a generic tablet. This way also doesn't require you to be on charging for the Google Frames to work correctly. You can just do it on the website. Now, you could also do this with a computer or a laptop or just any device in general. Now, there are some Google TVs that allow you to do this as well, and this will not be hard to do. Now, if you wanna get out of pinning, all you have to do is hit the back button and the all apps button and hold them down and it get you out of pinning. And from there, you are good to go. It just simply locks the screen where nobody can really use it or touch it or get out of anything that you are doing. I kind of jumped around on some of the instructions because I haven't done videos in a very long time, especially tech videos. So it's kind of nerve wracking to be back into it. With that being said, I really do hope this helps you out on saving money. Google Nest hubs are pretty expensive and if you have an old tablet or a cheap tablet laying around that you don't really care to use anymore it's very easy very simple to set this up as a google nest and make it similar to that experience with that being said this will be the end of my video if you happen to like my content like i said in the beginning make sure to like share and subscribe and leave a comment down below on what you think and i'm out <laughs>